Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a very interesting trick with something that you might not really expect, red cabbage juice. So I'll show you the trick first and then I'll explain it afterwards. The first step to make red cabbage juice is to cut it up into small pieces. Once you've got your cut up red cabbage, put it into a decent sized saucepan and then fill it up with water. When you're adding the water, you really just need enough to cover the top layer of cabbage. And that should be about enough. Put your cabbage onto the stove and then boil it on a low heat for about 40 minutes. It's been about 40 minutes now, so we'll turn the stove off and let it cool down for the next half hour. And as it's cooling down, we'll still continue to get juice coming out of this cabbage. Once you've let your cabbage juice cool down a bit, you can then strain it to separate the solid cabbage pieces from the juice. It's a little bit hard to see, but what we have here are five different chemicals as well as our cabbage juice. And I've got the cabbage juice in the middle here so we can see what color we're starting with. We have water, lemon juice, ammonia, and bleach. Ammonia and bleach are really strong cleaning chemicals, but you can get them in the supermarket. And we also have phosphoric acid, which is a pretty strong acid. What we're going to do is see what happens to our cabbage juice when we mix it with each of these chemicals. First up, we have cabbage juice and water. So as you can see, the cabbage juice stays pretty much the same color, that purpley sort of color. And so that implies that the water is fairly neutral. Next, we're going to mix our cabbage juice with lemon juice. And you can see that it goes a pink color. And if we mix our cabbage juice with phosphoric acid, it goes an even more intense pinky reddy color. Next, we're going to add our cabbage juice to the ammonia. And you can see that it's gone green, or sort of like an aqua teal color. And lastly, when we add it to the bleach, it also turns a green color. So what exactly is going on here? In chemistry, we can describe liquids as being neutral, acidic, or basic, also known as alkali. And we measure the degree to which they're acidic or basic by measuring its pH. A high pH is basic and a low pH is acidic. To measure the pH, we tend to use a thing called an indicator, which when we add it to the liquid, changes color and shows us very clearly, depending on the color change, whether the liquid is an acid or a base. These indicators can be a special type of paper, like litmus paper, which changes color when it's exposed to an acid, or it can be a liquid indicator, which when you add that to an acid or a base, changes color. So what does any of this have to do with red cabbage? Well, it turns out that red cabbage contains a chemical called anthocyanin, and anthocyanin has a very interesting property where it changes color based on whether it's exposed to an acid or a base. That's why the cabbage juice changed color when it was mixed with the different chemicals. 
Thanks for watching. If you like these sort of videos, leave a like and a comment, and I will see you next time.